This video will demonstrate how to install the Ruckus IoT controller called the Virtual Ruckus IoT Service or VRIOT as a virtual machine using VMware ESXi. Before installing the IoT controller software, you need to download the Ruckus IoT OVA file first. In order to do that, you would go to the Ruckus support website. You would scroll down to the network director and IoT and Flexmaster and Zone Planner icon. And here under the Ruckus IoT module, you would select Software Downloads. So here you'll see the Ruckus IoT GA software release. This is the .ova. This is the one that you would need to download. If you are going to do an upgrade to the Ruckus IoT controller, you could use the TAR image, but we're going to use the OVA today. And as a note today, you have to also have the Ruckus IoT virtual smart zone release that goes along with the Ruckus IoT server. So you have to make sure that your virtual smart zone is on the same rev as the Ruckus IoT server here. Also, as a note for technical documentation, you might want to download the IoT getting started guide. There's the release notes. There's the controller software installation guide, which shows you step by step how to do this. And then there's the controller configuration guide. So if you don't have those, you might want to download those and print those out so you have a copy of those. So I'm going to log in using a VMware ESXi server. So I'm going to log in with my username and my password and I'll log in. And under virtual machines, you can see that I already have several machines. So I'm going to create a new virtual machine. So I'm going to click on create. And I would select deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or an OVA file. I'm going to use the OVA file. So I'll click on that. And then I would hit next. Next, I would enter the name for my virtual machine. So I'm going to call this the IoT controller Awani. And it also says the virtual names can contain up to 80 characters and they must be unique with each ESXi instance. So here I can click to select the image or I can drag the files to the desktop. So I'm going to click on to select the file and I'm going to select the VRIOT 1.3.0.0.14 OVA. And I'll open that. That'll put that into my desktop and then I'll hit next. I'll take the storage defaults and then I'll click next. I agree to the user terms, then I'll hit next, and I'll make sure that the disk provisioning is thin, and I'll then take the rest of the defaults, and then I'll click next. This is my summary page. It says to review your settings selections before finishing the wizard. So the product is VRIOT, the VM name. I call it the IoT controller Awani. It gives me my disk, my provision type, which is thin, the network mapping, and the guest OS name is unknown. So I'm going to click on finish. And that'll go ahead and start the process of installing that. And this is going to take about a minute or two. And as if you look at the bottom, you can see the results as the OVA file is loading. As you can see, it's now completed successfully. So the next thing I need to do is to get the IP address of the I.O. controller. So you want to make sure the VRIOT VM is up and running and then launch the CLI from the VM window. So I'll click on the command line interpreter here. I'm going to log in. Log in. Admin. And the password is admin, so the default is admin, admin. You can get that from the installation guide. And then I'm going to press on 1, Ethernet network, and this will give me my IP address. So you'll see here that the IP address that we have is 192.168.8.126. So that's the number that I need to know. So I'm going to open up another tab and browse into that IP address. And you'll get a connection is not private, which is normal. Click on advance and then proceed to that IP address. And this brings me to the initialization screen. So the required services are checked. We have our public subscribe server or a pub server. And we have the other items checked by default. Under optional services, if I ticked on that, you could enter things in like the API key, the API secret, organization ID, and so forth. But we're not going to use those right now. So we'll click Next, VM Configuration Host Name, VRIOT, and we would put in the time zone. And we have the, the time zone will be America, Los Angeles, since I'm on Pacific Standard Time. Under IP Configuration, you can do DHCP or you can do Static. Since this is going to be a server, I'm going to select Static, and I'm going to put in an IP address, a network mask, and so forth. So I'll put in an IP address of uh, 192.168.8.151. Now you're going to have to remember that because that's what you're going to log into. Netmask, 
the gateway IP address, DNS server, and the DNS server too. So then I'll hit start. And this will start up my Ruckus IoT controller. And after it started, you'll notice that it says this site can't be reached. Well, that's because it's no longer 126. So I'll now have to put in my 151. 192.168.8.151, because that's the static IP address that I gave it. So that brings me to my warning page. I'll click on Advanced. I'll proceed to that IP address. And this brings me to my Ruckus IoT controller. So I'll type in my username, admin, admin for password, which is the default, and login. So this brings us to the dashboard, and as you can see, we don't have anything populated on the dashboard yet because we haven't installed any IoT APs, we haven't connected any IoT end devices, and so forth. So the purpose of this video is just to show how to install the Ruckus IoT controller. So if I go back to my VM server, you'll notice that I have my IoT controller, Awani, installed up here. I'll go ahead and click on that. And you notice here that it gives the host name and it gives the IP address, which is the 151, which is the static IP address that I put in. Shows that it's installed and up and running. Shows that I have two CPUs, memory is only two gigabytes. So it doesn't take up that much space. So that completes this video, just showing you how to install the Ruckus IoT controller. And we have other videos now that show you how to install the IoT APs, how to get the IoT endpoints working and so forth. So as you can see, it's fairly easy to install the Ruckus IoT controller, get it up and running. And if you have any questions, just remember, download the installation guides and follow along with those.